Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and today we're going to talk about something that has been bothering me ever since the Light Fury was first revealed, which is the question of her age. How old is the Light Fury really? Because when the first footage was released, or the very first poster for the movie was released, she looked extremely young to me. She almost looked like a baby Night Fury because she was missing so many of the flaps on her head. And it just made me wonder, how exactly does that add up since she overall has the same size as Toothless? So in order to answer the question, how old is the Light Fear, we're gonna have to look at her counterpart, which is Toothless. A big advantage we have is that we know Toothless age, more or less. This is discovered in the second movie when Volker mentions that Toothless is the same age as Hiccup by counting the flaps, you can also call them beard flaps I guess, beard spikes maybe. It's kind of hard to determine exactly what all those ear things are. Uh, but she counts them and she comes to the conclusion that Toothless is 20 years of age. So we're gonna put this into something mathematical. We could take all of Toothless ear flaps in the second movie. He has a total of 14 different flaps on his head. And if you divide all those up, it will be 1.4 year per flap. But then if we translate this to the first movie and we take away the six flaps that he gained in the second movie, it will not add up since Toothless will be 11 years of age in the first movie and Hiccup is obviously older than 11 years in the first movie. I think we can safely confirm that. So now we're gonna have to look at the size of these flaps because that might have something to say about how we're gonna calculate the actual age of Toothless and then the Light Fury. So if we take the length and size of the flaps, we can kind of loosely determine how old Toothless is depending on all of the years. So if you take one year on the center flaps, since they're not very large, we put three years on each of the main ear flaps, two years on the secondary ear flaps, and one year on the bottom flap. That would make Toothless 14 years of age in the first movie, which could add up more or less to what Hiccup is in that movie. But in order for this to make sense in the second movie, that would mean that the year on the three beard flaps would be six in total, one year per flap, which would make Toothless 20 years old in total, which is the same age as Hiccup in the second movie. So this is very loosely calculated, we can't really confirm anything, and there's also the whole question is, does the ears matter at all? Because Volca is only seen counting two of this beard ear flaps, so to speak. I'm not sure we should call them, should we call them beard flaps? I vote for beard flaps, let's do it. So let's just assume that it's only the beard flaps that determines a Night Fury's age. That will mean that Toothless has 20 years of age revealed in those six flaps on his Chin. So if we only look at the beard flaps, each one of them would count for 3.3 years, which would make Toothless close to 20 years old. But all this weighs is a big problem, because the Light Fury doesn't have a beard, and that makes this method of calculating completely useless. But if we take a look at what we do have on the Light Fury, we can see that her ears are incredibly short, and she only has four of them. It could indicate that her age is much younger than Toothless, however it could also simply be an indication of her gender rather than her age. And that raises the questions if there is a specific distinction between the appearance of a female Fury and the male Fury. It also raises the question if she is a Night Fury at all, but assuming she is, we cannot determine her age based on her facial features. We will have to look at her overall body. Apart from the lack of spikes and prominent scales, she has a very well-developed tail fin, both at the root and at the tip of her tail. Her wings are relatively large and she seems to be a mature dragon. She is slightly smaller than Toothless, but that could again be a question of her gender and not her age, that the females could be slightly smaller than the males. So if we take her overall size into account and compare it to Toothless, they are relatively similar. So if we once again take a look at her face, we will see that her ears are very much shorter. So if we take Toothless age, which is roughly 20 years old, just by looking at her overall face, 
compared to Toothless overall face and skull structure. And if we simply just knock two years of her main ears, since they are very much shorter, she would be around 16 to 17 years of age. Since there is speculation whether she is truly genetically compatible with Toothless, there is no way to determine her age based on Toothless, since she could be her own unique species based on her overall appearance. The difference between these two dragons could also be related to what we see in real life. If we take a look at certain mammals, such as a lion and a lioness, there is a huge difference in their appearance and it's much easier to determine a young male lion's age rather than a lioness, which has no such fur growing out around her face. And we can only determine her age by looking at her overall features throughout her entire body. Just by looking at the way she acts on her overall features, I would determine it to indeed be around 16 to 17 years of age if we are basing it on what Volka said about toothless age, which means that the dragon age kind of follows with the human age. But there is no way to determine this exactly, precisely, without any more information about this unique dragon. So I guess we'll have to wait for more information before we can determine exactly what this dragon is and her accurate age. Until then, I'm gonna leave you with my estimates and uh, I would love to hear what you think about this whole issue. How old do you think she is? She is a considerable size. I thought she was a baby at first, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But we'll see once the movie gets out. But please don't hesitate to share your theories down in the comment section. I will look forward to reading it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So long, dragon riders.